Hello everyone, my name is Dre Pals, and welcome to Speedy Pit How To for Chapter 24. This is the last installment in this series. And you might be wondering, hey, it's Chapter 24, now Chapter 25. Why is this the end? Well, Chapter 25 is pretty much on rails, just shoot Hades as much as possible, try not to die. <laughs> That's pretty much the entire chapter, so we're not going to go and cover that. <clears throat> But anyway, we are going to be covering this chapter. This chapter I do personally like. It's a very challenging chapter. In fact, it's the only one that I have not completed on 9.0. But it is pretty intricate. It's pretty intricate. With menuing, it takes about 10 minutes. It's definitely not as long as the lightning chariot, but considering everything you have to go through, it may as well be. Anyway, let's get started. Overall, I'd say the chapter is linear. But, hey, first off, I want to show off something. I know Chuck Conroy made a similar joke similar years ago, but sexy dentos. Step aside, King DDD and Bowser. Just go ahead and stand on this little platform while he's talking. This will eventually raise up. So in this chapter, there's similar layouts. There's a staircase that usually goes down, a staircase that... Well, on the first one, there's a staircase that goes down. That would go to the last Zodiac Chamber. And a staircase that goes up. For the second and third area, it's just going to be like a central platform that doesn't really go anywhere. And a staircase up. Now, for this first one, I like to use Light Weight. Because there's not really anything you have to dodge really, really quickly. Actually, just kidding. This is where I should have used the uh, Light Weight, not Tirelessness. But should be good. <coughs> Sorry, throat's a little dry right now. But yeah, as you run up the stairs, there's little gauntlets of enemies. Just kill them off, and the doors will open. And you might be thinking, oh, it's just a load. Kind of like in the Lightning Chariot Temple. Nope! There's bosses. First one is against a phoenix. So just try to keep what you had in mind from Phoenix, keep ahead of a bird, and attack. With the bosses, they are a little more difficult to beat, but they should only take like a couple more hits. Alright, after that, you're going to use a lightweight, and you're just going to run up the stairs. There is going to be an Orn, but he'll be easy to dodge. He just sweeps side to side, so just run up. The treasure boxes are all Mimikutis. This is the only time you have to fight a Mimikuti during the run. So if Mimikutis are your worst nightmare, well, don't worry too much about them. Like I said, only time you have to deal with them. You'll naturally take out the bombs as you're trying to take out the Mimikutis. My throat's like really dry right now. I am so sorry. Once you take out a Reaper, next door opens. And my hidden here is actually a Forces of Nature boss. Ladies and gentlemen, Craglanch. Leave his keister alone. His keister is adorable. Ow. Ideally, you'd want to do it better than how I just did it there. But it should be fine. Last, we have what feels like the longest staircase. So there's going to be a massive doze right there that moves really... It's just run past it. That's literally all I need to say for that. Just run past it. When you have these enemies, I find the Fort Oink to be the most lethal of the two. Um, it shoots out these little Force of Nature enemies that, um, when they explode, they kind of home in, home in on you. 
So take those out first. Also, that Orm enemy is a pain in the ass, so try to take that out too. Okay, moving forward. <coughs> There's something like caught in my throat right now, Jesus. Anyway, last boss out of a three is a Kraken. Hope you guys didn't miss this guy. All the way back from chapter eight. One charge shot still takes out the tentacles. And then you have a Kraken itself. And tent bleh. And Pit apparently plays Pokemon for Tentafool. Yeah, those three boss battles, that's only trial one. <laughs> trial two is against Magnus and Gowl. They usually don't dodge like that. I'm kind of kind of thrown off by that. They do share an HP bar, so once you kill off a one, it should be as easy as shooting the other one. And Trial 2 also involves taking on what you think is Palutena. But she's just ugly. Ma'am, you're beautiful in the same way that freaking Charlie Poof is Latino. And we just start skip through that. He destroys half the platform, so try to run to the other side as quickly as possible. I think it might be getting a little sick. I don't know. But yeah, that's the end of chapter 24. Yay, we did it within 16 minutes. Thanks, Brady. Alright, so... We need to clear this out in about 10 minutes. Let's get that done, shall we? 3, 2, 1, Ale. Can I just talk about this background music for a second? It's so good. Give me the hearts. All of them. Damn it. Hi, Dintos. That's exactly right. I never understood that saying at all. If anyone knows what it means, please tell me. Bam. Okay, in the air section here, just keep your reticle chain to the upper right. There's gonna be two Nutskis with two of the bomb things from the underworld. You'll have the Bobby Fane to kill off both, both times. <coughs> Ugh. Ugh. 
Oops, I had auto reticle. GG me. Alright, that gets rid of that. Chance for him. Again. <laughs> Bam, bam. Boom, boom, and boom. Watch out, Pit. If we're trying to get this chapter on 9.0, first of all, I'm not the person you should be watching for that. I haven't done it. But for those free weapons, you're going to want to hang right, then bottom, then upper left. It's the easiest way to go about it, in my opinion. Three different spots, not really questioning yourself. It's good stuff. Oh, Dintos. You and your sexy posing. Dintos, why are you so sexy? Alright, lightweight. You must overcome all three. You definitely want to take on the um, enemy that shoots at the comets before the Flargy. Because you can take on the Flargy while they're still invisible. <laughs> Bam! Now that was damn good. That was good. Alright, continuing on. Talelessness activate. This is another reason why I kind of prefer the Beam Claws. They're a little bit faster, so it makes use of abilities like Lightweight and Tirelessness just a little bit more. Ha! Oh, also, Mimikutis can do that, so just, just be careful. I always found that platform a little bit weird. Like, you only need to take out the Mimikutis for the first part. But after that, you have to take out all the enemies, including any Reapats that the Reaper summoned. It's kind of bizarre. Alright, last lightweight. Let's go. I'll go ahead and use this health recovery, even though I don't really need to. Alright, we start with Fort Oink. And then that enemy. I tried to take an earlier shot at the Orum. Seemed to pan out. Bam! Alright, now let's fight the Kraken. It's not the best way to go about this. Uh, nice one, Pit. Can I have a new weapon now? Uh, wasn't it for one trial or something? No, Magnus, I'm the one that does the melee shots. I find it slightly easier to pick on Magnus. Not bad, Angel Face. <clears throat> nope. Oh, hell no! 
She is not beautiful. If that's what you consider beautiful, I would recommend going to a eye doctor. Haha! <laughs> you good, fam? Boom! 919 with 30 seconds added on. That's about 949. Which means we would be saving about 35 seconds. 40 seconds. Pretty damn good! <clears throat> now, I really hope you guys enjoyed this series. It was something I started a while ago. And I'm kind of trying to... Not really conclude things, but rather go back to the past and bring back things that I started, but because of things that involved a previous quote-unquote employment slash affiliation, I wasn't really able to do what I wanted to do. But now I'm able to do that. So I'm finally getting back to the projects I wanted to, like Kid Icarus, the gym leaders, that sort of thing, and pretty damn excited about it. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the series, and I hope it is of use to you. If I see what dream hack, since I am recording this at 5.49 a.m. <laughs> on May 27th, I hope to see you guys there. And if this is released afterwards, well, I hope you guys had a good time, and I hope you saw me. Anyway, thank you all, and until the next video, this is Joypal signing out. See ya!